Our next presenter is Lauren Witterick. Uh, she's also a PhD candidate in biology uh, at Western, supervised by Liana Zanette. Uh, Lauren received her Bachelor of Science uh, in Biology from Queens and her Master's from Western. Glad we were able to get you here at Western from Queens, those pesky Queens graduates. Uh, and looking, uh, and, and she looks at the, and through her master's, she looked at the enduring effects of fear on the avian brain and, and subsequent uh, behavior. So she's continuing that work uh, during her PhD. Um, and uh, she's working to connect ecology and neuroscience with an expansion to new species, I guess beyond birds, uh, to understand how sex and captivity are intertwined with fear in, in wildlife. So please welcome Lauren. Survival of the fittest is a constant fight to find a meal while avoiding becoming a meal. In the animal kingdom, it is necessary to balance the fear of being eaten with the need to remember how to survive. We use post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD, as a template to measure the long-lasting effects of fear on the brain and behavior in wildlife, as PTSD can last a lifetime after even a single life-threatening event. Predator-induced fear matches the causes of PTSD in humans, as it is a psychological stressor that can lead to long-lasting changes in behavior and the brain without any prior experience. PTSD models also highlight three key brain regions, the fear area in the amygdala, the memory area in the hippocampus, and the decision-making area in the prefrontal cortex. We use hawk and owl sound to test how animals respond to their natural predators compared to songbirds and frogs starting with wild-caught black-capped chickadees housed in the lab. We then followed up with flocks of wild-caught brown-headed cowbirds and black-capped chickadees in large outdoor aviaries in seasons when they'd be living in group flocks in the wild. The aviaries were as close as possible to their natural environment while protecting them from becoming a meal. Finally, we looked at the effects of fear on wild voles to measure how fear affects animals in their natural environment. This made it possible to look at fear effects both with and without the influence of captivity. My key finding was that wild animals do show long-lasting changes in the brain and behavior one week after hearing their natural predators. This suggests that the long-lasting changes in response to fear that we call PTSD may have actually evolved to help us remember how we survived the last life-threatening event so we could do it again the next time something tried to eat us. Additionally, I found long-lasting effects in the lab, in the large outdoor aviaries, and in the free-living animals. We show that it's possible to detect long-lasting fear effects on the brain and behavior in free-living animals, but also that the expression of these effects varied between the lab and different field environments, highlighting the importance of the animal's natural environment on the fear response. In lab animal models, research on PTSD has traditionally focused very heavily on males. However, PTSD in humans is much more prevalent in women than men. On the wildlife side, it is survival of the females that has the greatest impact on the next generation as they carry the young. We found long-lasting effects in both sexes, but we also found that these effects often go in opposite directions, which may have profound impacts for our understanding and treatment of PTSD. Overall, we have found that the fear of predators can induce long-lasting changes in the brain and behavior, suggesting fear memories may be a sign of a healthy mind and have advantages for survival. <laughs>